So I hope you'll enjoy this demo tonight for how to install a twist lock. So twist locks come in different um, designs, different sizes. Here's the packet that I will be using for tonight's demo. Often they're just a round uh, metal portion with uh, the locking piece, which has prongs on it. So let me show you what the pieces look like like outside of the package. So I left part of the twist lock in the package because I didn't want to lose these really tiny screws. But half of the twist lock has prongs in it, and this is the locking piece that you would open and close to open and shut the twist lock. And the prongs are installed through the fabric and using this washer. And the other half of the twist lock is usually on the front of a flap. And it's got two pieces. Um, some twist locks admittedly do come with prongs on this piece, but I like the kind that come with screws. So the smooth flat piece is the, the piece that would be on the right side of the bag facing outward. And this second piece over here with the two little holes on the side is where the screws go. And that'll be on the wrong side of the flap. So let me show you what other tools you'll need for doing that. So I like using Beacon 3-in-1 fabric glue. You can also use another fabric glue. Fabric tack is another option. You'll need a Phillips screwdriver with the head just big enough to fit into um, those screws. Got my scissors, a marking pen, and um, a seam ripper for good measure. So let's get started with the easier portion, the part with the prong. So I've already prepared a piece of fabric that will be the front of the bag. I've attached it to interfacing already, so I've got foam interfacing on my fabric. And I always like to reinforce this locking piece since it's a little bit heavier, even though it does have prongs. It's a bit heavier than, um, say, a magnetic snap, which also has prongs. And so let me cut this open for the washer, but I'm going to use a little bit of extra interfacing to reinforce this piece. Okay, so I've chosen to use a little bit of Pellon Peltex interfacing, which is a stiff interfacing, and then a piece of Shape Flex. And I'll show you how I install this in the bag. So if you're working from a bag pattern that has a magnetic snap and you'd like to swap it for a twist lock, you can go ahead and use the same measurements in general for placement of where the prongs will go. So I'm just marking on the inside of this one prong and then the outside of the other so that it's even. I'm going to use my seam ripper to make two slits where the prongs will go and I'm going to follow up the slits that I made with a seam sealant. You can use fray check or fray black, or something similar to that. And the seam sealant just kind of reinforces the fabric and prevents it from fraying. And you always want to start with a smaller slit because you can always make your slits bigger but if you accidentally make your slit too big then you're kind of stuck. Okay, so I'm going to dab a little bit of seam sealant on there. And then this locking piece is going to go through the right side of the fabric. Just like that. I'm also going to mark the prong placement on the piece of Peltex and make the slits through that as well. And again, that Peltex is just a bit of extra reinforcement because that locking piece can get heavy on the front of the bag, you don't want it to rip out. Okay. Okay, so I didn't make this slit big enough, so I'm just gonna go back and make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so the prong's gonna go through that right side of the fabric. I'm gonna follow up on the wrong side with that piece of Peltex that I already cut the slits through. And then lastly, the washer. Okay, so I'm going to open the prongs towards each other. You can do it either way, either outward or in. Um, normally I like to, actually I'm going to have to open this out against the side of the table to get it to shut. You can use snap pliers as well. Okay, so once you've gotten those prongs flattened, I like to use a scrap of Pellon Shape Flex with the fusible side against the um, locking piece and fuse that in place just to make sure everything is super secure and this is what it looks like from the right side of the fabric. So let me put this to the side and let me show you how to install the other half of the twist lock. So this piece right here. 
So I've already prepared my fabric. I've got my flap fabric attached to ShapeFlex interfacing. I sewed the fabrics right sides together and then I top stitched. I also, if I could show you the wrong side on the inside, I attached a little bit of extra ShapeFlex interfacing, this circle right here for some extra reinforcement. And the twist lock is gonna be cut through all layers of fabric. So again, you're gonna use the placement in the pattern for where your twist lock or magnetic snap should be. I'm gonna take this piece from the twist lock and I'm gonna mark the inner circle as well as the two tiny circles on the sides. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I'm gonna connect the circles with kind of a inward facing V, kind of like that. So I'm gonna cut through both layers of fabric. I'm gonna cut this big circle in the middle as well as cutting toward those two little dots on the side. And again, use that seam ripper to get a, an opening started and I can use my scissors the rest of the time. So again, the twist locks come in some fun shapes. I have, I have a few that look kind of like lock and key, which are really cute. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna cut this out. And after you cut that opening out, just make sure you take the twist lock piece and lay it over and see if you have any fabric peeking out. So I've got a little bit of extra fabric showing as you can see from here, there's a little bit of extra fabric on the top. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shave some more fabric on that top edge so I don't have any fabric showing on the completed twist lock installation. Okay, so I'm gonna treat this fabric, even though it's the same fabric on both sides, I'm gonna treat this fabric as the wrong side of the fabric and this side as the right side. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this piece, this is the right side of the fabric, I'm gonna lay this piece right on top of the opening and you wanna make sure that you have enough fabric cut out so you can get the screws neatly inside. Sometimes if you don't cut enough fabric back, the screws are really difficult to connect with the piece. Okay, so I'm gonna lay the piece down just to test it out. When you're confident you have the twist lock piece, how you like it and you can see the opening for the screws, just go ahead and dab a little bit of the glue on the wrong side of the locking piece. So the glue does two things. It keeps the, the locking twist lock piece permanently in place and it also prevents any of the fabric since you cut an opening it prevents that fabric from fraying and showing on the sides of the twist lock. Okay, so I'm gonna gently lay that down. I'm gonna apply some glue to the wrong side of this piece as well, and then it's time to get the screws out. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit of glue to this piece. And some people also like to put some glue in with their screws. Uh, that's up to you. Okay, I'm gonna lay the screw in there and take my Phillips screwdriver and screw that in place. Okay, and then do the same thing with the other one. Okay, so when your piece is installed, the front and the back, it'll look like this. So this piece um, I installed a couple weeks ago, and you just turn that locking piece in the middle, and this is what the piece with the prongs looks like. And that's what it looks like from the wrong side of the fabric. See, there's those two screws. Okay, so that's how to install a twist lock with a little bit of practice and some confidence as far as cutting through that flat piece you'll be a pro at installing twist locks in your bags.